Veterans make significant sacrifices while serving our country. A Troy University fraternity wanted to show them how much they're appreciated. Alpha Tau Omega Brothers walked from Troy, Alabama to Panama City Beach to raise money for Jeep Sullivan's Wounded Warrior Outdoor Adventures nonprofit. News 13's Courtney Fegley is live in our studios now. And Courtney, when did the fraternity start that walk? Amy, ATO brothers began their Walk Hard fundraiser hike on March 8th this past Friday. Today was the sixth and final day of the walk, and they set a new fundraising record. The brothers of Alpha Tau Omega raised $150,000 to help wounded veterans during their Walk Hard fundraiser. The money will go to Jeep Sullivan's Wounded Warrior Outdoor Adventures nonprofit. The nonprofit assists soldiers recovering from war by funding outdoor activities to help establish a sense of normalcy. They don't get the proper appreciation and, and recognition that they deserve for all the work that they do. So I think us walking, you know, from Troy to here is just something small to give back to them, but also to be like, if y'all can go through all of that for us, we can do a little bit of work and a little bit of pain just back for them. The Walk Hard fundraiser has been an ATO tradition since 2005. ATO brothers walk over 128 miles in six days, only stopping for brief breaks and to sleep at night. While many brothers were tired and sore, they say this is their favorite philanthropy event of the year. This walk brings so much joy and smiles and laughter to not only veterans, but families of veterans, people who just see us walking on the street, Whatever it may be, it brings so many smiles and so much joy to so many people. Bay County Sheriff's Office deputies escorted ATO from the Panama City Beach Visitor Center to Pier Park, the last mile of their journey. Hundreds of friends, family members, and locals gathered to witness their arrival and storm the beach. The idea was you leave Troy and you go further, as far as you can on land to touch the sea. So that's kind of the idea. That's why we walked to Panama City, really, so we can get in the water and dip our toes in the water. The fraternity says they physically and mentally push themselves to complete the hike, but the walk is nothing compared to the sacrifices veterans made for our freedom. Y'all have done more than, than words can say for us, and so for us to be able to walk for you guys to bring you know, appreciation and also recognition to you guys for everything you do, like it's, it goes without saying, you know, we appreciate it, we thank you for your service, and like, you know, we're, we're honored to do this. In Panama City Beach, Courtney Fegley, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The ATO brothers dedicated most of their spring break to the walk, and they say they look forward to relaxing and recovering for the remainder of their time here. Courtney, where can people go to learn more about the Wounded Warrior Outdoor Adventures nonprofit? Yeah, for more information on or to donate to the Wounded Warrior Outdoor Adventures nonprofit, go to the story link on our website at mypanhandle.com. It's always cool to see them come down here every year. Yeah. Thanks, Courtney.